Uh, what's going on guys? We're in Big Tex Trailers in Wills Point, Texas, and this is our Friday load. We're getting us a preloaded trailer over here at Big Tex Trailers. So stay tuned. We'll show you how we're going to get these bad boys down the road. We got our, we're hooked up to our trailer. I'm about to go through my securement notes here. I'm about to double check, see if we actually have to have um, chains we're securing these trailers to our trailer. So we got 348 spread out, 348 foot spread axles. And let's see if we need some chains. So. Guys, you always want to be, you always want to have your load secure, safe, peace of mind. Don't have to worry about it. Bam, here it is. All right. Stap, stacking empty flatbed trailers by using chains to secure the top two trailers to the bottom trailer. The chain in the front must be secured to the trailer in the opposite direction of the chain for the rear. This will prevent the trailer from rolling. Need two chains on front and two chains on rear, one on each side. Use straps to secure the top top two trailers to the bottom. The trailer dolly legs will need to be lowered, stack trailers, blah, blah, blah. Measure the height. So stay tuned, we'll show you how to get that done. All right guys, so we got our load here. Uh, three 48 foot spread axle, big text trailers. They already have these things pre-strapped, but you guys gotta really watch some of these straps are in really bad shape. If they're not legal, you can't use them. So you gotta redo them. Let's take a look. There's a lot of stress marks here on this strap here. Plus, when you got something stacked this high, you want the strap to be have a twist in it. So twist away from the truck. That's why I usually do it that way when the wind comes, it'll slide right over the strap and it, will, it won't sit here and flap in the wind like that. So, plus, check this out. They've got this right next to this sharp stake pocket here. That strap's right next to the sharp stake pocket. So as you're driving, let's go to this other one. That one is super tight. I mean, you can play banjo with that. It's crazy. So we'll go to this one here. You can hear it rubbing right there. So that's going to be an issue. Check that guy out. Yeah, that's not legal, guys. You can't have that. So. And you always want to make sure that uh, what you're hauling with is legal. So, I mean, we appreciate these guys here at Big Tex and Wheel Point getting these things, you know, preloaded and secured. But guys, we can't run that. So that's that's not going to work. Back here, we got a two inch, which could easily be a four inch over here. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and change that out. All right, guys, another thing, another real big issue that I have an issue with is the way these hooks are done. Okay. See how it's riding the bottom of the rubber rail there? It's just, it's just hooked up under there, just like this. All right, well, what's gonna happen if this strap gets cut by, for some reason, okay, that hook's gonna hit the ground and it's gonna go back to the passenger behind you and probably bust their windshield. So guys, what you always wanna do is at least put one turn on your hook and bring it up to the top of the rubber rail right here. But also guys, you're supposed to be running chains on these trailers. So we're supposed to have a chain. So you're supposed to have a chain at each corner, all four corners. We need to get our four chains out. We gotta swap some of these uh, these straps out. So stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with you. Back guys, we've got our big text load here. Um, we are in Wills Point, Texas. 
We went ahead and redid all the straps. They had two inches back here that were damaged. We put our four inches on here on both sides. So that's grabbing the top of that neck of the uh, gooseneck up there. We've got our retaining chains here. They're, they're preventing horizontal forward and rear movement. So I don't like the way these back ones are done because they're just kind of strung through the uh, stake pockets here. But worst case scenario, there's, there's really nothing you can do. On the other side, there's actually a channel here that sticks out that will get damaged if you try to do the V-shape motion like you're supposed to do. So we went ahead and put these on here. They are good and snug. It's not going anywhere. So God forbid we have to slam on the brakes hard. That trailer's not going forward. And I'll show you the ones we have on the back here. I mean, on the front of the trailers as well. Every single strap has a twist in it. We've got two bellies, one here, one up there. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, if you count the other four inch over there, seven straps total. In four chains guys we are roll got all our paperwork check out our chains up here you want to be real careful when you run those chains too guys make sure you do not damage you want minimum scratching so make sure that you're not going to be riding up on here on the side plate this has got a little bit of space you can see my finger goes behind it so um but just minimum damage guys but you want to make it safe so chains hooked up there running through our second trailer, running down to our first trailer, and then back to the rub rail. So the trailers can't shift to the rear and they can't shift towards the front. So we've got them holding it and we've got our placement strap. All right, guys, we're off to Greensboro, North Carolina for the weekend. So we're happy about it. We're happy to get up out of the West Coast. We've been fighting that for the last week and a half. So. Hey, all you cool truckers and truckettes. I, sorry, I just had to get, I just had to get on that little bandwagon. Uh, back Carol Baskins. Uh, so we're here at Big Tex in Greensboro, North Carolina. As you can see back here, we got one truck ahead of us. So it's not the ideal situation, especially on Monday morning in the rain. But like we were here at like 8.03 and there was already a guy sitting in their lot. So I don't know. They said they wouldn't gonna open up until eight, but it is what it is. Um, so what we're gonna do is while we're waiting, we're gonna go ahead and take our, our chains off and just a couple straps just to make it a little easier after we get turned in there and we can get everything else off. We're gonna leave the bellies on until they get that top trailer off just in case. But after that, we'll pop the bellies off, the other four straps on the top. So guys, when you're talking about getting these chains off, uh, right here, you wanna make sure that all these points that you're undoing on these chains, you're being just as careful as you were when you put them up there, because you don't want to put any kind of damage on these trailers that doesn't have to be there. Small scratches and stuff, that's one thing, but guys, when you talk about like scraping off DOT tape and busting lights, that's a claim. So. Be extra careful when you're taking off your chains and your straps, okay guys? We'll be good to get unloaded and we'll see where we're going next, so stay tuned guys. All right, everybody. So stay tuned till the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, stay safe, stay prime. God bless. Fred Skater out.